Your testimony talks about the weight of daily administrative burdens put on doctors and frontline health care workers. What's the source of these administrative burdens? Can you give an example of a top-down regulation the federal government should remove today that wouldn't compromise patient safety or quality? Um, I think, broadly speaking, what I'd really like to see is a shift uh, from CMS of being a plan provider to being a plan regulator. I think CMS is largely focused on the minutia of the fee schedule, and unburdening CMS from that would allow it to focus more on things like the adequate risk adjustment model and population health quality control. And then specifically, I'd love to see CMS go on a quality diet. I'd like it to install a living system of quality metrics where metrics are retired as they're shown to no longer be useful. And new metrics can come into place that would, instead of focusing on the frontline clinician and how we practice care, focus more on larger hospital systems and hospital practices, um, helping to improve the clinician experience. I think we need to make sure that any new quality metrics are easily collected using existing technology and then we're not adding additional administrative burden for data collection for these metrics. Uh, you described the importance <clears throat> of fostering competitive, dynamic healthcare marketplace that values efficiency and quality. Uh, is Medicare Advantage a marketplace where we can foster competition to address administrative burden problems in our healthcare system? And if so, what can we do to make it more competitive? Yes, I think absolutely Medicare Advantage is a space that could foster competition, but there has to be a lot more competition. If we're talking about inefficient prior authorizations, we shouldn't need to regulate efficiency in the health plans if there is adequate competition. Um, so I think we need to improve competition with more plans entering the space. And in addition, I'd like to see uh, equalization between Medicare fee-for-service and Medicare Advantage with a unified quality reporting system and star rating system between the two, uh, the two types of Medicare. Your uh, testimony stated employment growth of healthcare administrators, uh, outpacing growth in the number of new doctors by over 20 to 1 in recent years. What are these administrators doing in the healthcare system? Uh, who are they and why haven't they returned value to our healthcare system and decreased spending? They're, uh, largely what Dr. Cutler mentioned is they are taking all the unstructured data that physicians are putting into our clinical documentation and attempting to make it structured data to fit into certain billing codes and quality metric formula. Uh, a lot of that could be automated, I believe, using, again, existing technology. Um, but really, CMS creates sort of a floor of the documentation burden. So if, if CMS says that a certain CPT code or billing code requires XYZ, then physicians are going to be encouraged to put XYZ in every single one of our, our notes to try to get that billing code. And then, the, the, again, all these administrators go through our notes, try to maximize which code can be assigned to each uh, instance of clinical documentation, and put that in and bill it uh, regardless of the payer. My last question, uh, your testimony spoke to the lack of labor productivity gains in healthcare over recent decades. In other words, doctors haven't become more efficient even with new technology like electronic medical records. How should we approach regulating artificial intelligence given the impact of top-down regulations on current technology? Yeah, so I think, I, I think AI has huge potential to do a lot of that administrative work, again, taking unstructured data and creating structured data out of it. I am worried that we would overregulate it. If I went back to 1990 and told all physicians that we're going to computerize electronic, we're going to computerize paper charts and have instant access to data and imaging, I think everyone would be uh, thrilled with the amount of efficiency gains we would have with that technology. That never happened because we overregulated EMR with things like meaningful use. And so yeah, I am worried that we would take the same approach to AI and take away any potential efficiency gains with overregulation. Thank you. Thank you.